Well, and that was my attempt at ballet. Kind of terrible, but you know. What else? All right, kiddos. The last couple videos we have been talking about multiplication as a comparison. Okay, so that was the 12 is three times larger than four. 12 is four times greater than three, that type thing. Okay, or 15 is three times taller than five. Okay, so we're multiplying and we're comparing. All right, so that's what we're gonna keep doing, but it's getting a little bit trickier, darlings. Because look what I have on the board. Dun, dun, dun. Word problems. All right. So bring back into your brain what we talked about the last few days with multiplication as a comparison. Okay. We are going to be using those skillios to do these problemios. Okay, dokie. Okay. Here we go, friends. Let's make it happen. Let's hope this marker works. I'm a little scared. It's not going to work. All right, let's look at our first one. Now, remember our process with word problems. Read, read, read. Circle the question. Underline the important stuff to answer that question. Here we go. All right. Jenna bought a hat that costs $4. Sherry paid three times as much for a shirt she purchased. How much did Sherry pay for the shirt? All right. Read it once. Read it twice. Jenna bought a hat that cost four dollars. Sherry paid three times as much. Ooh, did you hear that? Three times as much? Ooh, did we have a sentence like that in the last few days? Mm, okay. Sherry paid three times as much for a shirt she purchased. How much did Sherry pay for the shirt? All right, we read it once, we read it twice. Start with a question. What do we need to answer? How much did Sherry pay for the shirt? Please work marker. Oh, it's not working. No! Dang. Let me get a new one. All right, let's do green since this problem is in blue. All right, so circle our question. Question. Let's underline the important stuff. Jenna bought a hat that costs four dollars. Sherry paid three times as much. Sherry paid three times as much. Okay. All right, friends. So let's figure this out. We need to compare what. Sherry paid and what Jenna paid, right? Right. All right, so we've got old Jenna here. J for Jenna. Okie dokie. Jenna bought a hat that was $4. All right, here's Jenna's hat that was $4. Okay, now we've got Sherry. She bought a shirt and she paid three times as much as Jenna. So Sherry paid three times as much. So guess what? Sherry has three boxes because she paid three times as much. All right, so she has three groups of four and Jenna had one group of four. Because Jenna only spent four dollars, but Sherry spent three times as much as that. Okay, so Jenna spent four, Sherry spent four, eight, twelve, because three groups of four is twelve. Four times three is, I don't have enough fingers for twelve, so four times three is twelve. Right, kiddos? So, how much did Sherry pay for the shirt? Sherry, Sherry baby, paid four, eight, twelve. Twelve for the run out of room. Sure. Okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. So, remember our sentence from the last two vids, right? Where
to do stuff in a certain order. You like that, don't you? All right, this marker is not so hot either. So let's get this one. All right, kiddos, let's move on down the road. To our next problem. Okay, word problem again. Read, 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 start the question, underline the import. Yo, for a fundraiser, Victor earned three adalas. Nancy earned nine times as much as Victor earned. How much did Nancy earn? All right, read it once, read it twice. For a fundraiser, Victor earned three dollars. Nancy earned nine times as much as Victor earned. How much did Nancy earn? All right, so we read, we reread, circle our question. What do we need to answer? How much did old Nancy earn? Okay, so we got to answer. What are we going to use to answer that? Well, let's see. Well, Victor earned three dollars. Nancy earned nine dimes as much as Vita. Ooh, there's that times as much thing, right? Okay, so let's set it up. Let's do it. Make a bar problem. Bar problems. Bar model thingies. All right, so we have Victor. V for Victor and N for Nancy. Okay. All right, so what did Victor? Victor has a group of three because he earned three dollars. All right, Mr. Victor, and your three dollars. Okay? Now, Nancy earned nine times as much. So how many boxes do you think Nancy's gonna have if she earned nine times as much as Victor? Nine times as much means nine boxes, right? Oh gosh, I hope I can fit nine boxes in here. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, uh oh, y'all, five, six, seven, oh, no, 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 eight, ah, nine. Can y'all even see all the way that far? Oh, no, there's nine boxes here. Nancy earned nine times as much. All right, so nine times as many as what? Nine times as much as three. So I've got three, 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 three. I got a whole lot of threes, kids. How many threes do I have? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I have nine groups of three, right? Right, okay. Nine groups of three is equal to what? We can do all skip counting, right? Or if you know your multiplication facts, you know three times nine is what? Let's see. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Okay, so three groups of nine or three times nine is 27. So Victor, not Victor, Victor, sorry, did Victor didn't earn 27, did he? Victor earned three. Nancy. Yesterday, the day before, we did our equations with our multiplication. That's kind of what you do here. You're making your equation into pictures, all right? So this is three times one, right? Three times one is three, or one times three is three. This one is three times nine, right? And three times nine is 27, okay? So our equation for this, three times nine, or nine times three, right, right, this guy is 
is three times one, four, one times three, right? Right, 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 yeah. So one group of three, four, I can divide it up into three groups of one. Two of them going in there, see where we're going, see where we're doing, all right? So here's your comparison. Just like this, right? So 27 is nine times as much as three, right? Right. Yay! Go team! All right, we are going to do this again tomorrow. We're going to do this for a few days because sometimes this gets a little confusing because my brain kind of shut down right here a little bit and I had to stop and think what in the world I was even doing or talking about. Okay? Okay, so... Do the last few word problems, my darling. This stuff is very good for your brain. Multiplication, very important, my darlings. Okie dokie, okie dokie.